Hello everyone! Today we are using Procreate to make a digital painting from a silhouette. The Procreate tips that I will be sharing with you today will help you create all kinds of silhouette artwork in the future. You will also be able to use all the default brushes that come with Procreate. Check out the link in the description below and download the file so we can get to paint right away. The first thing we're going to do is opening up Procreate. Next, we'll look at this section on the upper right hand side and we tap on the plus sign. We open up the new canvas menu and we tap on paper. This size will do it. Next, we're going to import our photo. To do that, we come to the left hand side, the upper left hand side, we tap on the wrench and we make sure that out of all the actions, the add action is highlighted. From there, we tap on insert a photo. I had already selected the silhouette of the boot as one of my favorites, so that's why when I tap on favorites, this photo will show. Tap on the photo. Zoom out by pinching in. As you can see, Procreate does an amazing job at placing our image, our photo, right in the center of the canvas and still it leaves the selection tool highlighted in case we would like to resize or reposition the photo. We like it the way it was initially placed so with two fingers we're going to go back. Tap on the selection tool again to get out of that menu. Next we want to make sure that we use the silhouette as a mask to only color and paint inside of it. To do that, we come up here to the upper right hand side and tap on layers. We're going to change the blending mode to be able to do that. We're going to tap on this end, which stands for normal, and we go from normal, scroll down until we find lighter color. As you can see, the image has disappeared, but don't you worry about it, that is a good sign. It means that we're now using the silhouette, the silhouette of the boot as a mask. Next, we're going to add a new layer and place it underneath the boot. To do that, tap and hold and bring it down. We are ready now to start painting on that layer. Next, we're going to pick a color. To do that, we tap on the color picker up here to the upper right hand side and we focus first on the outer ring because this is the ring that we use to select our color to select our hues. We're going to start out with a orange color. These are the yellow ones right here and not completely a full orange but I would say right in between like around here. And as far as the tones or saturation for that color, we're going to move this circle all the way to around here. So we go for a more toned down version of that color. For the brushes, I recommend that we tap on the recent uh, set of brushes and clear that set. That way, any other brushes that we use from now on will appear under your re recent set of brushes and you have an easy, faster way to access the brushes that we're going to be using. Again, we're only going to be using the default brushes that come with Procreate. The first brush that we're going to use can be found under the airbrushing set. Tap on that set and we go for the soft brush. Tap on the brush again to exit the menu and we're going to keep it at a 100% opacity and maybe around a 10% for the size. We tap on the layers to make sure that we are painting on the right layer. Tap out of it and let's get started. As you can see, the blending mode lighter color did a great job. And this chunk of paint right here has been masked through the silhouette of the boot thanks to that particular blending mode. Next, we're going to create a little bit of a sunset sky towards the top of the boot. 
to do that we're going to use more saturated colors so we're going to drag this circle towards the edge where we can find cleaner versions of any of the hues that we select from the outer ring and if we double tap we'll come up with a very pure color in there so we're going to drag it a little bit more towards the reds and we're going to start right over here and paint this band of color to that we can add a little bit more red maybe a little higher We're gonna jump into the violet, very close to the purples, and indigo. Now into the blues. And to hint a little bit of the night sky that's coming after the sunset, we're going to drag this circle from the inner circle actually all the way down and shade it down tone it down to a darker version of that blue and put it right on top next we're going to make sure that we blend all these colors in nicely to do that we're going to tap on the adjustment menu and pick Gaussian blur we tap anywhere in your canvas and drag to the right until we nicely blend those colors You can stop if you ended up on the edge of the iPad and start over right here until you blend those colors to your satisfaction. For me, I think a 60%, you can see the percentage up here. Um, I, I believe a 60% would do the trick. So let's bring it down to 60%. And it's a nice gradient for the uh, sunset. We tap on the adjustments again to exit the menu and now we have a very nice view of maybe the desert right here and the blended colors of a beautiful sunset. Next we're going to establish our horizon. To do that we're going to create a new layer. Tap on layers, tap on the plus sign, create a new layer and we're going to use the same color that we have here only that this time we're going to neutralize that color and to do that just double tap towards the center and you have a very toned down, perfectly toned down version of this hue that could definitely stay there as the blues or you can turn it more towards the violets and purples in here. It's really up to you. We're going to keep that same um, brush and for the size we probably will bring it down to a 2%. You're going to trace one line here. If you hold the pencil down, Procreate is going to help us create a very straight line. And if we don't know how to really position it for a perfect horizon line back over there, we can use one finger to tap and Procreate is going to give us wonderful options of angles and of course a perfect horizon for our artwork. After that, we're going to continue on the same layer and trace the outline for the mountains. Color that in. Next, Let's add a little bit of texture to this section so it's not too flat. To do that, we're going to tap on the layers and create a new one right on top of the mountains. Tap on that layer again and let's use Clipping Mask. That way, any coloring that we do on that layer is only going to apply to the layer below the mountains. To add those textures and details, we're going to change our brushes because the soft brush is definitely soft and we don't want to use the same type of brush for um, the texture of, of a rugged terrain in Rocky Mountains. So to do that, I would say, come down here to the charcoal uh, 
set for the textures and pick the to be compressed. For the size, we can definitely go for a 5%. Pick any colors from here, in this case, uh, orange and double tap towards this section and you end up with a beautifully perfectly saturated version of that color with any presence of gray white or black okay so we can get started we tap out of it and zoom in to work on those details we can definitely establish now that somehow the sun is coming this way even though we have a sunset in the background uh, the slanted uh, final some rays for the day are coming from this angle that way we light up the left hand side of the mountains and darken up the right hand side of it let's go ahead and do that we're going to use different uh, uh, pressure so we start with a very strong pressure and we soften enough as we come down the mountains again very hard press in here and soften it up as we come down a little bit for this little hill and the same thing here you can add some more very soft details for the rugged terrain of these rocky mountains Now we're going to um, also add a little bit of more, more of the dark, you know, edges um, on the dark side, uh, shaded side of the mountain. So to do that, we're going to pick this color again. To do that, we can use one finger to tap and hold. And if you drag it around, this is the color picker. It's gonna help you pick any color. So let's go ahead and pick this color up again. And this time we can go back into it. I remember it was the perfectly toned down version. If you double tap in the center, towards the center, you get the perfect uh, toned down version of that color. But this time we're gonna darken it up a little, and shade it a little bit more. We're gonna add some more black to it. And using the same principle, we press very hard and soften it up as we come down the mountains. Press really hard towards the top and soften up the stroke as you come down the mountains. In order to, uh, to add more details, we can uh, bring the size down to a 2% and maybe add some little cracks. Not too many details because this mountain is supposed to be far, far away from the viewer. We got, any, we got some cracks in here. Make it look more realistic. But again, let's not overdo it because these mountains are supposed to be far away. Next, we're going to add a little bit more texture to the foreground. To do that, we're going to stick with our to be compressed brush, but we're going to create a new layer up here and we're gonna come down to the background, the initial background layer, place one layer on top of it and and pick this color to start out with that. So we use one finger to select this color, which is going to instantly show up in here and maybe add a little bit more red to it and maybe a little bit more dark, more black so we can shade it and tone it down. And, um, and as far as the size is concerned, we can go for a 20% maybe. Let's see how that goes. Looks great. And we can now lower the size maybe to a 5% and add some details to the foreground. Maybe darker here for this area. Mm -hmm. 
and brighter for this area. So we come down here, we have more of the orange towards the yellows. Next, we're going to paint a cactus right in the center of our landscape. To do that, let's select the layer first. Tap on the layers and let's go all the way to the top because that cactus is going to be on top of every single layer up here. Tap on the first layer below the silhouette of the boot and tap on the plus sign to create a new layer right under the boot. Next, we're going to select our color. It's going to be a green, but it's not going to be a bright green because we're in the middle of a sunset, colors are toned down. So we're going to pick from the inner circle a darker version of that green. As far as the brushes is concerned, we're going to tap on the brush library, and this time we're going to come down to the calligraphy setting. For the brushes, we're going to tap on the brush library and come down to the calligraphy set. Pick the mono line and change the size to about a 10%. Make sure again that you're on the right layer and let's test it out. That's a good size. Tap with two fingers and zoom in so we can better have a look at what we're doing. I think that's good. We could go old school and color this in like we would do on a piece of paper, but we're working digitally. So let's use the magic of Procreate. Tap and drag and continue filling to fill that out. We tap on the brush again, and this time we can refine this shape by tapping and holding on the erase tool. That way we're erasing now with the mono line, the same line that we uh, started out drawing and you can refine your shape. You can change the size up here and refine the shape of your cactus. Using the leading, using the same um, brush that we use for coloring or tracing. I like to chop the bottom up. I'm going to use the brush again to fatten it up down here. It's more like the trunk base for the cactus. And use the erase tool again to refine that shape. I think that looks good enough. The next thing we're going to do is to add texture to this rather flat shape. To do that, we're going to create a new layer right on top of it. And we're going to make sure that it's a clipping mask as well. So any changes, any painting that we do on this layer is only going to apply to the shape underneath. We're going to, as far as the colors, go for a darker version of the original green that we used and as and for the brushes we're going to tap on the brush library and this time come down here to the painting set and select a dry brush the size could be around 10 percent we zoom in and let's see how that goes again make sure, always make sure that you are on the right layer We nicely start painting, following the shape. Maybe a little darker here for some other details.
another thing that we established initially was that the light was coming from this angle and the shades and shadows will be on on this side so the same way that we worked on those details for the mountains let's go ahead and do that for the cactus to do that we tap on the layers panel one more time we create a new layer and we're going to make sure that that layer for the highlights and shades and shadows is also going to be a clipping mask for the brush we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to the to be compressed we don't have to look for it again because if we used it we already used it it should be under our recent our set of recent brushes and sure enough there is it's very easy very convenient that procreate allows you to have automatically a set with your recent brushes so you can go back to them all the time for the color we can start with tap on the color picker and start with a darker version of our previous color and come down here to the size and bring it down to a five percent maybe and on the right hand side we're going to start adding And shadows it looks nice now we're gonna go ahead and add some highlights to do that we tap on the color pricker again and this time we're gonna bring it to a brighter green and maybe Bring the size down to a three percent. Now, if I would like to refine this uh, highlight and erase, delete some of these sections in here. We should not do it with our previous erase tool selected brush because the monoline will be too harsh and we want it to, to uh, be connected to the textures and the behavior of this brush. So to do that, when you are actually using this brush, you can, which is the um, to be compressed, you can tap on the erase tool and hold and now you're using the same brush for deleting how cool is that so we can come up here and correct a little bit of what we did excellent if you think that is too bright you don't have to paint this over again. You can only come here to the layer option and under the opacity by tapping on the end, it'll take you to uh, all the blending modes and the opacity. And from the max, you can bring it down, more toned down and clear option version of that color. So from zero to none, from none to Hey, let's say 70% for me will do the trick. So that looks good right there. Now one thing is definitely missing. We should definitely have a nice elongated um, shadow here from the light that's coming from this angle. So to do that, tap on the layers options and menu and, and create a layer under, right under the cactus. To do that, we tap on the layer that's right underneath and Tap on the plus sign to create a layer right under the cactus. And for the shadow, we're gonna use the complementary color of the surface. So we pick this color up, that orange is gonna show up in here, and the complementary color will be the opposite on the color wheel. So we go all the way to the opposite, and we're gonna to tone that down so it's not too harsh. And as far as the brushes, we're gonna go back to our recent set and pick the soft brush 
make sure that you're on the right layer and less paint a shadow there. A little blunt, but we can definitely fix that. How do we do it? We come up here to the selection tool and instead of uniform, we're gonna go for free form and tap and hold on this blue anchor point to squeeze that shape into place. Excellent. Still, it's a little too harsh. So we can uh, adjust that by tapping on the adjustments and tap on Gaussian Blur, tap and drag to the right until we have a nice looking shade in there. Not all the way because it's gonna make it disappear, but fine, but fine a percentage around nine and 10%, maybe lower, that's gonna help us uh, have a better uh, look of it. The shadows are usually darker on this area, so how do we fix that? Easily, we tap on the layers, and we make sure that we tap on this layer again, and we alpha lock it. That way, anything that we paint is gonna remain on that layer. We're gonna go for a darker version of our blue, and still with a soft brush, maybe a little bigger, maybe around a three or four, and we nicely paint and change the pressure from very hard to soft to get that. For the final touches, we can add some texture, more texture to the foreground. We pick this color up again, tap and hold. That color is gonna come up here and we go for maybe a reddish version of that color. And as far as the brushes, we go to the recent uh, set and, and pick the dry brush again at a I'll say 10% and we zoom in we can create that uh, set of rich textures for the foreground but be careful we don't just do that anywhere we tap on these layers and we make sure that we create a new layer on top of the initial set of textures that we created for this background and right over there we're going to add a new layer for that purpose and we can start adding a little bit more of texture we can go darker reddish even darker and more red for the bottom part. And now we're going to go for the final touches. To do that, we're going to tap on the layers panel and create a new layer right underneath the silhouette for the boot. Tap on the plus sign and create a new layer there. For the color, we're going to use black. To use black, we tap on this side and double tap any color. It could be any color, any color from the outer ring. But if you double tap on this section, we're gonna end up with a black color. For the brushes, we're going to go to our recent set and pick the mono line tap out of it and we're going to max that out all the way to 100%. Make sure that we are on the right layer. I can start all the way up here and bring that line about. Then color it. Also on the top, maybe bring the size down to a 
So now we're going to continue adding details and maybe some stitches for the boot. So how do we do that? I always recommend creating new layers for that. So we tap on new uh, on the layers panel and right underneath this layer, we're going to have another layer. So how do we do that? We tap on the one underneath and tap on the plus sign so we have a new layer under the one that we were working on. As far as the color is concerned, we're going to maybe pick an orange color, dusty, toned down version. And for the brushes, we're going to use the mono line at a maybe 20%, 19, 20%. And now we're gonna trace a line like this. Next, we're gonna tap and hold the erase tool to use the current brush. And we're going to bring it up all the way to a 40%. We're gonna go side to side like this and delete. And now down here. Now we're going to replicate that effect over here and trace something like this. Let's go back to the erase tool. Get that done like that. Let's go back to the brush and add one line over here and another one here. Go back to the erase tool. and we repeat the process. Now I'm also going to use a line like around here. And there you have it. By only using the option of lighter color, we were able to mask entire painting out of a silhouette. I hope this gives you ideas and ways to think of uh, many other different ways to uh, decorate this silhouette, the silhouette of this boot, or maybe in the future working with many other different type of silhouettes. Until the next time, thank you for watching and following along.